Shall we do a summary? So, I'm gonna summarize the story and then summarize a little bit what we went through in the last session, in case some of you watched the first session but not the second session. Uh, I'm a detective, there's been a suicide, but we're looking into it as if it's a murder. And, um... Uh, and we're taught we we get to talk to all these people on the in the village and uh, We found out a bunch of stuff <laughs> There's this there's this Program called Atlas that um, Kate the victim was a part of and uh, What we've found out is that Atlas they claim to help you as a businessman and help give you business tips, but we're finding out that they might have been into a lot of weird shit at this place. Um, there's this dude called James, and he's high. He likes to get high. He claims that Atlas, what used to be, they used to be called something else, and he shut them down by giving out flyers about it. Um... He claims that they used to do slave trade, and they used to, like, manipulate people and drug them and uh, hypnotize them and sell them as slaves to wealthy people. That business, that thing was called Third Eye. Kind of like a cult. They went under, and now we found out last session that they came back as Atlas. Um, anything else that we found out last session? And, and we don't know if that's confirmed yet regarding the slavery thing. Everybody else is saying that James is just paranoid and always going on about governments being... He's like a... Uh, he, he likes these, like, theories and stuff. Uh... Oh, yeah, there was another suicide. We found out that exactly a year ago there was another suicide. Um... Uh, with another dude who was a part of Atlas, or I think it was maybe Third Eye back then. Either way, he was Liam is his name. Two suicides in two years all around this Atlas, everything in the same village. Getting very suspicious. So we're asking about Liam a lot as well. Both Liam and Kate were found to be very drunk. They were drinkers. That's what these guys keep saying. They were drunk. Um, I'm not sure if both are by drowning, but they both killed themselves. And they were both they they were both drunks and students. Well, they were students. Um, and uh, Emma, one of the characters, thinks that she is the reason yes. for Liam's death because she told him that his birthmark is ugly the night that he killed himself, um, which I think is ridiculous. Uh, you know, like it's not if you yeah, it was, it's bad to say that, but that's not going to get someone to kill themselves. Um, unless it's just what tipped him over the edge, but in that case it's not your fault anyway, because it's all must be- It's not like the sole reason he'll have killed himself, but either way, we don't think he killed himself. Uh, one of the guys behind Atlas is storing a bunch of guitars in his garage. We don't know why, but we think they're Liam's, yes! maybe. We don't- we're not really sure. Um, and lastly, Emma had an affair, is- or is having, I'm not sure if it's done or not, with one of the guys behind, uh... Atlas. Uh, the bicycle tail. Oh, yeah, there's some bicycle we keep asking about. I have no idea why. That That's everything. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get it pretty soon. Ooh, questions and stuff. Blendwing Animated Square. Welcome back, yes. Happy three-year animated. Thank you, man. <sighs> Rebecca, yeah. Rebecca's so cheeky. I don't know. She seems like she's holding back. She's got info. Um, so, what was it that led to uh, us getting to 9 p.m.? What was the latest discovery? Latest discovery seems to be that Emma criticized Liam over a birthmark. I need to... Shall we do a clip? Do you think people come in here mid-story and they're like, I wonder what the story is, I can't keep up. Let me do a quick 30 second summary. It's gonna include as much as I can that you can put in a command. Watch this. Hi, this game is called Contradiction. We play a detective who's investigating an alleged suicide by a woman called Kate. We also have found out that there was another suicide in the same village a year ago, a guy called Liam. 
There's this cult-like activity thingy they claim to help you with business. They're called a Atlas. Uh, they used to be called Third Eye. There's one guy, he's high all the time, he's called James. He claims that they used it to create slaves to sell off. People are saying it's a conspiracy, we're not sure. Shady shit is going on. Emma um, is in a... <laughs> cheating with one of the guys behind Atlas. And we're just finding out who killed this, uh, these people and what's going on. That's the summary, enjoy. Boom. That's a clip. How's that? That- that's enough info. That's enough info that you know the basic. Yes! Perfect. Let's get into this. Short and sweet, yeah. Emma criticized Liam- oh yeah, okay, so. Let's go talk to Rebecca at the pub. Rebecca is married to um, this dude, whose name I've forgotten, who uh, is behind Atlas, the son of the boss. You'll know who the boss is when I talk to him. He, whenever, I always he hear boss music play mind. when I talk to him. Yeah, Ryan is his son, yeah. And Ryan is the person who cheats on Rebecca with Emma, who's together with this other dude, who's called something. It's unlikely Rebecca would- Okay, yeah, cool. See you Thank later, you. Rebecca. Yes. Probably be back later. Simon, yeah. Let's go talk to Simon, actually. He can probably add something about the birthmark. Right? A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. He should do these summaries every time he plays Rocket League. Hi guys, I'm still gold. <laughs> Boom, clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Jenks has promised not to discuss this with Simon. Well then... Uh, that's all for the moment. Okay, Thank I you. think there's gonna be a new event or something. Yes! Nobody wants to talk to me about this. Let's walk around a little bit. Oh, there's always stuff going on in the, in the woods. Yes! Ooh, in fact, dude, uh, Ryan will be done with the meeting now, won't he? Let's go that way. Maybe we'll run into some people who are in the meeting. So they've just had a meeting at Atlas. Uh, so we, we have a few, we have some new information we can actually talk to Ryan about. Oh yeah, we got mugged! Shit! We got mugged as well, for those who weren't here last session. By a dude. He stole this tape we found. And in the tape, they, um... This guy st steals something from a jacket. And the boss behind Atlas claims that he made that video to show them how you could be bad. How you could sin without feeling bad. And he claims he would give it back after. Uh, yeah, it was a DVD. Um, however... That was done on the night of Liam's death. Was there a magnifying glass? That'll come in handy. Don't know why I never remember to buy one. You steal it? What? All right, we just casually steal a flashlight. There's a dark place, I think we could use that. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Be back later on, if that's okay. Okay, so, let's see if Ryan's in here. No, Ryan's gone. Wait, was there any... Hold on. They've just had a meeting here. Maybe I can find something. No, okay. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Oh, I can ask about this. Um, oh, I... Oh, who am I talking to? 
Oh, I'm talking to Ryan. Oh shit, Ryan. I thought this was boss man, but boss man's in their home, isn't he? There's so much I can ask him about. Um, so Ryan, tell me about the doll so burning. So tell me more about this doll burning. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the course. What's it about? It's about burning your old yes. personality and finding a new one. I love how he stood here one. again with a drink. So the dolls are... You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She... <laughs> She's quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past, particularly you by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Oh, the burn! Oh, he looks away as well. He could, he, he felt this is a good burn. He was proud of that one. I didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. When I to say a black few years ago, death about or whatever. Years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? Uh. <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something Stone. Blackstone. Oh, they all death called stone. something Stone. Hammerstone. That's it. And you still collect? Um, Isn't the other one called I Stone? I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. He's There's something connected there with the bands. So for those that don't know, Liam, the guy who killed himself a year ago, used to be in a band with Emma, the girl who is currently cheating on her boyfriend with this dude, Ryan. Don't know what the connection is to the band there. 20 years ago, I mean, they were kids back then. I wonder if he lied there. I wonder if it was Blackstone. Can you tell me about auto-hypnosis? No. What would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course. No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. Uh, we're thinking about phasing auto-hypnosis out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. I'm just summarizing a little what we've learned here. Hasn't bought a new guitar for over a year. Mm. Once auditioned for a band called Hammerstone. Can I ask about... No, I won't really have that, will I? No, okay. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. Oh, yes, the costume shop, yes. We used to hire from them. For the course? Well, yes. For the course, at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody new. They're new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New selves? Hmm. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to act, how to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. What it does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing can do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Mm, not at this stage. <laughs> What do you know about your father's money-stealing stunt? Oh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dad decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe? <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? 
No, 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 no. Liam wasn't like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple, unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. What do you know about Emma Bowman criticising Liam before his suicide? I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but um, I, I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. Mm. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Let's go use this flashlight behind the pub. Well, well. And there's the mask symbol again. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. Hmm. Can we do it again? Hmm. I'm going to go back to him. That looked to be... A guy like Ryan will be owning that car, for sure. Ask you a couple more things, please. It's a weird distortion with the music in game. Is there? Are you sure? Chat? Do you know what uh, these are? Oh, yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course, very strange girl. And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well, she was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she, she took a dislike to the course for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I have no idea. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. Uh, the run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't miss it. Really? Right, thank you. I guess we're going to go see her. Uh, interesting. All right, most of you guys are saying it's fine. I mean, if, if the music sounds weird, then the voices should sound weird as well. It's all one audio, so. Thank you. Probably be back later. What did she say at the... He's at the end of the village. This way or the other way? Could that be where Lisa lives? Ah. Run-down house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? I've been trying for him to go to the left side of the village in every stream. He's not explored a part of the map. No, this this was the end of the street before. They open up more and more as the story goes along. Um, but this this was the dead end before. Yeah, we've never heard about Lisa before. 
We have to ask a shitload of questions here. Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. I promise I won't take long. Yes! Thank you. I'll just go in here, yes? I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh, look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? I just wanted to ask you, did you know Kate Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Devil worshippers? They're making demons appear. They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. Where could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. They stay inside you. So... How did you get rid of them? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, she still see them. Oh, what? I just don't look. I put all the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. I make sure everything is bright. I just see myself without seeing the other person. Who is the other person? She's like me, but older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled. With a wrinkled mouth. To the O to the E. Like she's dying. Steel. And then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm her. I'm sorry. I, I have to go now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> what a very fragile and disturbed person. And utterly convinced that Atlas are worshipping the devil. How are Ryan and Paul going to get out of this one? My God. God, that was, that was, um... Ah, she pulled me in, man. She pulled me in. That was, uh, wow. Gadget Guru, Lightning, Surfer Maki, It's Me, Snail, Drux Shadow, and Katie Jadek. Jade, perhaps. Thanks. Hey, glad, glad you're liking the game. Can you do a sheesh? Just wondering. What? Sheesh! There you go, man. Carlos as well, thanks for the three. Coming from a hard day at work, the one where I know my boss is to fire me and tomorrow is my birthday. This week has been so rough, but at least we have you. Thank you for the content. Hey, early happy birthday to you, man. Early happy birthday. And... Sorry to hear that, man. Enjoy the stream. Such a boomer. Oh, here we go. Is sheesh like a new meme that I missed? Tell me. Sheesh is a common thing, isn't it? Is this some funny clip or something? It's really open for a devil to appear in the mirror? I think that would be too obvious, right? Like, if, if that, that happens now. 
It's a stupid TikTok sound. Ah. All right. You know, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's, uh, maybe it speaks to my age, but it's kind of cringe when people are like, "Ugh, oh, he doesn't know. And it's just some word that's suddenly be because of a clip, right? And if, if you haven't seen the clip and how it's spread, if you're not on TikTok or something, suddenly you're too old or something like, then I'd rather just be too old and just have to like stay on top of all these weird memes like, if I've seen it, then sure, you know, but if I haven't, why does that make, like, God, like, it's just like, what? Like, I, I use TikTok as well. I probably was on TikTok for a good 20 minutes today, just looking at random clips, you know? Every now and then there's something good. Did not come across it. Suddenly that means that I'm completely out of it, you know? And you know what I don't like about memes these days? I don't mind that this makes me sound old. It used to be that a meme stuck around for a few weeks, maybe a month or two, you know, like, and they were like, they were like, 20 good ones in a year, maybe even 15 good ones that you can talk about. These days, it's like a meme is old after a day and a half, and you're on to the next one. You guys are fucking just like scrolling through memes like you scroll through, I don't know, people on Tinder. It's just, it's just insane to me, and it's like, I, man, how are you supposed to keep up? How am I meant to keep up? Hmm? Today it's sheesh, give it another two days, and it's, I don't know. Some sound from some clip that's just been spread, edited onto all these clips. Made me not care anymore, honestly. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really mind. Like, you guys are saying I'm getting defensive. No, I don't, I don't care, you know? It's just weird to me when people are like, Oh, <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> it's just... Roasted by Stefan? Huh? Sheesh Binner for a minute? Never heard of Sheesh. <laughs> Did Stefan say that in chat? Man, of course Stefan is here when I have a boomer rant. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you know what, yes. Stefan? If that makes me an old man, then fuck yeah. I'd rather- I'd rather be an old man than have to stress with knowing every single meme. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the reason I think I uninstalled Twitter. I just got tired of just keeping up with stuff that doesn't really matter. Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalized last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. God, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. Here we go, dude. Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? As in black magic? No, why? Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas? Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why I mean, he might talking? have one. Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. Come on, can we give get the option to tell her that her husband is cheating on her? She said Ryan's camera had been stolen. What? Rebecca took the photo. What did she say? Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalized last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. God, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. Okay. Thank you. Probably <clears throat> be back later. <clears throat> Let's go talk to Big Boss Man and Ryan about this uh, new ac uh, accusation. Oh! <gasps> Wait. 
No, I don't know. We've always been able to go here, but there's been nothing to do. I was thinking maybe we we're meant to do something with the uh, mirror later. Right, let's go talk to boss. Ask about a few more things, please. Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it helped. Did you encourage Emma to criticise him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticise them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticise his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all. Lie. That's such a lie. I bet you eventually we're going to use that. Because we think that he gave Emma that uh, necklace that she says she doesn't know who gave it to her. That's that's this current theory. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. Another toy he managed to ruin. It was vandalized sometime last year. You know who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. But that doesn't mean you don't know who did it. Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon? Devil worship? Uh, Satanism? Am I missing something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. You were misinformed. We're a training company, we're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine, thanks. Like doll burning. I mean, that's so satanistic, isn't it? He's obviously not gonna vibe with that, but well. Okay, I'll see you soon. I think everybody did it. I think they're all in on it. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Do you know anything about these? Nope. Sorry. Okay. Have you ever heard about there being devil worship at Atlas? Devil worship? No. Definitely not. Who said that? It's just something I heard. Okay, thanks. Let's see what Simon has That's to say, though. That's moment. Thank you. Hello, Simon. Have you seen these before? Hmm. No. Don't know the car. You don't know in this tiny village who owns that car. What do you know about devil worship? Devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> Devil worship at Atlas? Nah, there's none of that. Liar! Be back later on if that's okay. We're gonna go to James after this. I bet you James has lots to say about uh, devil worship. A few more questions, please. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? Am I correct in assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint? 
You would be. She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has... He's standing by the mirror. ...diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were, um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't trust a word she says. So you are saying Says. there has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly know anything about. I certainly don't recall anyone ever having worshipped the devil at Atlas. We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Oh, he came with a lot of... Boom, you know, doesn't know anything about devil worship. Uh, I bet you we're going to be able to fuck him up about that. I'm wondering, I'm trying to think back. I'm wondering if he said anything about it in the past. Dude, the black scrying mirror. Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You have seen one before? Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? Yes, I, when I was in my teenage years, <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child, uh, and, well, not that you could tell, always playing fantasy games, reading books about that kind of malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, books on oh, black magic, shit. not the chocolates. <laughs> um, witchcraft, satanic oh. rituals, that kind of thing. I, I grew out Got of, him. of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, I, mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural, Inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't you think so? I got you. Uh, used to read about black magic and satanic rituals. Doesn't know anything about devil worship. Aha. So you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but... You don't know anything about devil worship? <laughs> well, obviously. I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, that you claim not to know anything about it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Look, we do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's all. And some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. Uh... We ask students to fill in an aptitude test, uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing, any medication that they have used in the past, any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. Basically, it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Oh, touch wood, so far, yes. Can I keep a copy of this? Hmm. Huh. I wonder how much importance they actually give to this test. And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? Can I keep asking him? Is 
mean, I've already kind of brought it up, haven't I? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I'm proud of that one. I'm real proud of uh, finding that one, because that was a long time ago we talked about the mirror. Thank you. Probably be back later. Hey, Oliver, thanks for subbing, man. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna start using the mirror. Use it here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go somewhere dark behind Rebecca's pub, and I'm gonna use the mirror. See if it works. Yes! interested in the track. Didn't work though. Uh, let's go talk to James. I'll have a lot to say now. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. This guy's so funny. Like, I don't know if he's trying to play high or like some guy who's just really sad about Kate's death, but... Know anything about these? Nope. All right, cool. Uh, Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own. Doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? If you can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts, you've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? She came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times. Got talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much. Except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. But she was just like most people, really, blind to herself. Except she's more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Huh. Uh, that's it for the time. Oh, you'd have Thank more you. to say, man. Yeah, dude, I'm surprised he said that. This, like, conspiracy theorist. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know anything about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it, for Atlas? What do you want to know? Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. All right, cool. See you Thank later, you. Rebecca. Probably be back later. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was all just questions about uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems, so stuff like that, you know. But they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. There's an exclamation point when you left James's house. Oh, yeah. He, okay, yeah. I must have missed, uh, he probably summarized something. Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests, you know, fitness and stuff like that. A similar one. Interesting. Be back later on, if that's okay. It's a saving game icon. Ah, okay. I thought he meant the thing that pops up top left sometimes. Hmm. Are we meant to run into someone right now, maybe? 
Uh, let's go talk to the chief. Chief, bit more news. It turns out Emma was with Liam on the night he died, and she thinks she caused him to commit suicide. She made fun of him, mocked him as part of the course. Nice of her. Why did she do that? Requirement of the course, apparently. To say something offensive. It's meant to encourage free thinking. Yes! And I suppose the Rams just think that's what, yeah, par for the course or something like that, do they? Well, Paul wasn't too bothered. He claims he didn't know Emma, so couldn't have predicted what she was going to do. That doesn't wash. What does Emma say about him? She does not like him. Really doesn't like him. So she must have known him well enough. How well did he know her? He claims not very well. Well, make sure he's telling the truth. Oh, I've got a cup of coffee to make. Coffee? Yeah, OK. <sighs> Thanks, Chief. Bye. more questions, if that's okay. Can you tell me a bit about this, please? Uh, it's the Atlas Aptitude Test. What do you want to know? What does it test, exactly? It's a test yes. uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Hmm. Lisa. You are well informed. And what do you think it was that disturbed her? I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? Uh, we increased the entrance age to 21. Well, it wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and suing us, did we? Okay, hardly knew Emma. The chief seems to think that we could push that. Paul said he hardly knew Emma. Can I push that it's for... Emma, like we think. Ah. We can, ah. okay. You say you didn't know Emma, uh, yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. So you didn't buy her one? So you did buy her one. So that means you must have known her, and quite well too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Look, I've been around a few years. The clock is ticking. And I admit I have a, an embarrassing weakness a young for girl. attractive women. Okay. I mean, you're... Ew. It was a stupid mistake. But that's all it was. Ew. So you're saying you tried it on with her? No, I didn't try it on. I bought her a necklace. And then your I'm son started not aware with that her? there's a law against buying presents, unless, of course, the Third Reich has been elected while I was at a bridge party. Again, a Hitler Emma reference. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. Why um, does he keep referencing... As a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. So nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got hurt. All right. Like father, Why does this like guy son. keep... No surprises there. I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with. Yes! 
He keeps bringing up Hitler. Test design terrarium. Okay. Uh, damn, it didn't give me any new info though that I can present to the others. Guild hardening. Once tried to date Emma. Can I push it further? Hmm. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. I don't think it's a coincidence that he keeps doing, like, Nazi references. Not saying that he's a Nazi, but it's weird how he keeps bringing it up. Is it just... Yeah, I mean, he's older, I guess, but it's just weird. I feel like there's a reason More why he keeps doing please. that. Thank you. Uh, it's a shame I can't tell her who gave her the necklace. Necklace was an unwanted gift. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. I don't know where we're meant to go now. That didn't really add anything for us. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the chief. I think he has something else. He, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I'm a bit of a dead end. Make it interesting, Jenks. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. Very strange. There were several students ago. sitting around a fire, taking it in turns to burn handmade woolen dolls. You're hoping I'm going to say, tell me more, aren't you? I'm changing my mind. Ryan had an explanation for it, as did Simon. Mm. He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto-hypnosis on the course. Oh, uh, what's that? Self-hypnosis. Hypnotizing yourself. Uh. Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Is it dangerous? Well, not in theory. Nobody I've spoken to seems to think so. Well, if it disturbed this Lisa so much, then it can't be all that safe for every man, can it? I suppose it depends on your psychological state to begin with, but I'll look into it. Okay, keep it up, Jax. Always do, Chief. Always do. Yeah, oh, very funny, very funny. Bye-bye. So I must have missed a connection there somehow. How old were you? 94. Okay. Well, Kate was old enough. Kate used auto hypnosis as self medication. I forgot about that. And that Auto-hypnosis is another name for scrying. Scrying possible without a mirror. Dude, auto-hypnosis is another name for scrying. So the yes. scrying mirror to Kate Vine last year. Jeez. Hmm. Why are you all saying 1994? Oh, you, okay. Um. Suggested hypnosis is similar to persuasion. That Atlas and Persuasion Technique. Hmm. Game came out in 2015. Oh, it did. So she was exactly 20... Wait. 96. Oh, she wasn't 21 then. She was 19. Holy shit. Ask you a couple more things, please. Wasn't it 96? Oh, it was 94. Why did I think it was 1996? Never mind. 
Never mind, guys. I thought I had it. I thought it was 96. Uh. Thank you. Probably be back later. Seems to be some something here. Autopus is another name for scrying. Scrying possible without a mirror. So let's go mirror to Kate. Okay, so James says that scrying is pretty much the same as auto hypnosis. What does Ryan say? Claims auto hypnosis is not a major part of the course. Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way. Well, we know it's a part of the course because he's. So I can't really do anything with that. I think these are being phased out. Believes auto hypnosis doesn't really work. What did Ryan say? about the scrying mirror. Paul, auto hypnosis is not used on the course anymore. But we know it is, but we know they're phasing it out, so. Uh. Impossible to be hurt or damaged by hypnosis, not possible to force students to be hypnotized. What did you say about this? Those are mirrors used for scrying. Never use scrying, but no, it's just scrying. After it doesn't use scrying on the course. Can I connect those? That seems far fetched. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Damn, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck here. Have you ever seen one of these before? I believe it's a scrying mirror, pagan thing. Ever used one? Why would I use a scrying mirror? So you have no interest at all in this sort of thing? No. Does the Atlas course use them at all? Well, not at all. Strange question. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I am enjoying trying to think about this, you know? Trying to, you know, uh, it, it, trying to find the, the key, the connection here that I've missed. I like how he hasn't given the remote control back. Oh. Uh, let's walk around a little bit. Might be able to run into something. In fact, let's see if she's back yet. No? Okay. Yeah, I've tried using the mirror myself. I think there's something more with Ryan, man. No, Town Hall never happened. I went there at 8. There's nothing. I've tried again now as well. What happens if I use the scrying mirror in here? Well... Yeah, we'll check the kitchen. Hold on. Hmm. 
No. I'm gonna talk to uh, Ryan again. Ask about a few more things, please. Uh, I don't know. I need new info. Be I've already I tried on, it. That's okay. Listen, I'm gonna do this just to get you guys to not offer anymore. I've tried the scrying mirror already where the body was found and nothing happened. Although some time has passed now. Oh, wrong way. Some time has passed now, so maybe Maybe it'll work this time. I've already tried that. Um, so... The fact that the chief doesn't point you towards anyone specific has to mean you have to find something, right? Yeah, that's... I mean, he kind of talked about Paul... ...and... ...the auto-hypnosis. So I thought it was gonna be something there, and I still have a feeling it is. I might sit down with Paul again. Let me just check the one place I haven't been... ...in a while, which is here. Maybe I'll run into someone. No, yeah. I'm gonna sit down with Paul again and have a look at his answers. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Knows the mirror is used for scrying. Never used a scrying mirror. No interest in scrying. Atlas doesn't use scrying on the course. The reason that I'm looking at the mirror is because James said that auto hypnosis, scrying, is a form of auto hypnosis. Mm, never used a scrying mirror. Okay, and what did you say about auto hypnosis? Not used on the course anymore. Not possible to force students to be hypnotized. <sighs> Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Devil worship? Uh, Satanism? Am I missing something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. You are misinformed. We're a training company, we're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine, thanks. Thank you. Probably be back later. Yeah, I think it's either Paul... I meant to do something with either Paul or his son Ryan. Yes! Or I think Simon. I think Simon is holding back because Simon seems to be really into Atlas. Yet More he's playing please. so dumb.
Hold up. Hold up, you're lying. Not allowed to hurt or offend others, but that's exactly what Emma did, which I'm not allowed to discuss with you. Chat, I am lost. Yes! I'm gonna try talking to the chief again. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. I looked at a guide and it's very easy to miss what you have to do. Ah. To miss what I have to do. Show tips. No, that's cheats, I think. That's gonna tell me. I don't wanna do it with tips. Ugh. Well, I might Cadis, the chief's last thing that he told me was that the auto hypnosis. Something about that. I wish I could hear the chief say it again. Am I on the right course with that? Or am I meant to. I feel like I'm meant to find something. Try the aptitude test? <gasps> Can I try it myself? You think so? No. Does escape for chief tips? Aha! Here we go. Chief wasn't convinced that auto hypnosis isn't dangerous. It's just looking into it further. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. Very strange. There were several students sitting around a fire taking it in turns to burn handmade woolen dolls. You're hoping I'm gonna say tell me more, aren't you? I'm changing my mind. Ryan had an explanation for it, as did Simon. Yes! He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto-hypnosis on the course. Oh, uh, what's that? Self-hypnosis. Hypnotizing yourself. Uh. Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Is it dangerous? Well, not in theory. Nobody I've spoken to seems to think so. Well, if it disturbs Lisa so much, then it can't be all that safe, however it may, can it? I suppose it depends on your psychological state to begin with, but I'll look into it. Okay, keep it up, Jenks. Always do, Chief. Always do. You're oh, very funny, very funny. Bye-bye.
with auto hypnosis not a major part of the course students aren't coerced or bribed in any way auto hypnosis techniques are being phased out believes auto hypnosis doesn't really work not used on the course anymore and possibly hurt or damaged by hypnosis not possible to force students to be hypnotized Something to do with Lisa and I'll auto ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Devil worship? Uh, Satan. I already listened to this. Got it! So nobody has ever been affected by auto-hypnosis, except Lisa. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. That's why we introduced the test. But the hypnosis was the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? Nonsense. Kate was enjoying every minute of it. She couldn't get enough of it. Really? She was full of the joys of life. Bubbly, confident, flirty. With who? You mean with whom? With whom? Pretty much everybody. Including me, as I remember. Really? And, uh, did you respond? I don't get into relationships with students, Inspector. Company policy, it's not professional. You liar! Interesting admission that Kate flirted with him. There's no way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. Can I not... You gave the gift. Avoids relationships with students. Once tried to date Emma. Aha. So you avoid relationships with students, except for Emma, who you tried to date. Oh, come on, Inspector. That was a long time ago. And what about Kate Vine? Did you try to date her or not? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Inspector. Kate was an exceptionally clever girl. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she knew how to get it. You mean that Kate approached you? It wouldn't surprise me if she was playing everyone in the group. Kate had more enemies than you'd think. She was a very, very manipulative young woman. Clutch! Clock, it's getting late. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace if I'm gonna solve this by midnight. I have to pee. I have to pee pee.
Safety Nomad, uh, thank you man, thanks for the five. Bull Anderson with the three, been watching since Rainbow Six, love the content here, no matter what game you play, your personality always puts a smile on my face and makes me laugh. Love to you and the gang. Much love man, thank you. Macho Machu, White Potatoes, Toast before. welcome back. What are your opinions on cheese? What's your favorite cheese? Love some good cheese. Halloumi is probably my favorite because it's quite unique. Mr. George the second with the four, loving the content for years, but just from just this year I earn enough to support you. Hope you keep streaming for a long time, because I always look forward to watching you. Hey, thanks, man. That's very nice to say. Millipoos. Yes. Much love fresh lettuce as well. Cheers, you guys. Gaming Toddy, happy two years of support. Playmax and Ross Campbell as well. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for the resubs. Right, so he accused Kate. God, it's still not something we can ask others about. He accused Kate of being uh, flirty and stuff. How interesting indeed. To do with it, tell him about Simon. Oh. I really don't think it's my place, darling. Oh, shit. Alex, I have an idea. One second. I just don't want to tell him. One second. Tell him about Simon. You know what happens when you don't do as I say. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Ah, so it's going to be that kind of evening, is it? She oh, is God. cheeky! Only if you deal. Problems? Hello, Inspector. <laughs> I knew Sorry. it! Oh, I'm not surprised at all. Um, hi. We have a Lumi as well. I bought a Lumi. Top of Lumi, of course. Um, I was gonna make sure it's nice too. Top of the room. What's your name? Crap. Thanks for the tea. <sighs> Look at that. What was he saying? Tell, tell him about Simon. It's not my place. I wonder if Simon was involved with Kate. Bye, Cadis. What do you guys think? I'm wondering if, if, if Simon was involved with Kate. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Thank you. Probably be back later. I'm not, I'm not, nothing more to say here. What's, uh, what's left there? Oh. Well, isn't that interesting? Is that what he just gave her? I think he just gave her that, right? What was that, medicine? This was made out to Rebecca or found in a cupboard. Let's talk to her about that. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh, they're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many, he's a friend of the family. I swear we've talked about meds. Or like drugs. Didn't you say you don't take any drugs? Or any doesn't take any drugs or medicines. Gotcha! Uh -huh. So you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me, they're Ryan's. Um for some reason the chemist always makes them out to my name. He's a an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, isn't he? He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. 
So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. I think I might have a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Ah, uh, we're flying ahead, guys. I'm learning things left, right, and center. Let's go talk to Ryan. So hold on, he was just at the pub. Is he back here now having a drink? I'm gonna laugh if he stood here having a drink at the mirror. No. Couple more questions, if that's okay. No way it's the same scene. Here we go. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> Ew! Disgusting! Dude, first of all, we just saw you at the bar hand her the... And, and secondly, that's... Oh, man, and you're back here drinking as well. Why not just stay at the bar, man? What, what are you doing here? All right, here Tell we go. Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes. I'm old before my time. <laughs> That's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector. And sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. Yeah, it was totally a penis joke. Just having a look at things, seeing if we can match anything here. Oh, no meds on campus! You're right! You're right, I knew there was something here with how much info he gave. Thank you. Now, where is that? No meds on campus. Well, it was no drugs, wasn't it? Doesn't allow drugs or alcohol on campus. And you just said work and home. No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it would be what's that going to lead to anyway? Mm -hmm. No drugs or alcohol? Then why do you take painkillers for your bad arthritis? That would be a bit of a dick move, I guess. The other option? Well, you, you think you think I could still do it? Uh, let me try again then. Hold on. Fifty quid. Fifty quid. You wanna go? You wanna go, mate? You wanna go? Oh no, wait. Yeah, no. I did. Oh, it doesn't keep any medicine. Fifty quid. Loki, the fifty. How's everyone's day so far? Well, mine's good. Not gonna answer for chat. I'm having a, a nice day. I'm a little tired today, but uh, other than that, lovely stuff. Having a chill time, trying to investigate things here with chat. Thank you very much, Loki, for the big ass donation, man. Much, uh, much love, much love. How's everyone in chat? How are you? How's your day? Here we go. We've got him, I think. Then. Uh, yeah, due to insurance restrictions. So. You don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas. No. Except yes. your prescription painkillers. Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access to them. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers. Yeah, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol. 
Codeine. Morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. Prompt Prompt, thanks for the 10 months as well. Much love. Thank you, Loki, once again, man. Big donation coming in. Thank you, man. Hmm. Be back later on, if that's okay. Yeah, not much has happened with... Let's, let's look over the evidence here. The fact that the tape was stolen from me, the DVD, uh, in the mugging. No, sorry. Uh, who was that? Was that Paul? He blamed it on a cleaner who visits at strange times. What the fuck is that all about? This cleaner, man. Something's gonna happen with that. Hmm. Anyway, Ryan's arthritis. How did she get it? Let's talk to everyone. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no, I've okay, already talked to you about the arthritis. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to Simon and Emma. Oh. He dropped something. Perhaps a key to this door. Are we about to... Man, this is not legal, what I'm doing. Bit careless, Simon. Probably nothing important oh, I thought it was the key. this stage. What? I need all the clues I can get. What about the key? Did you not drop a key? Okay, yeah. What is that? What did I find? Key ring. Only the key ring. Saint Bernard de Menthon. Business card. Dean Hazel, manager of Aztec. Huh. Dean Hayfield? Ask you a couple more things, please. Did you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. Oh, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. He's faking it. That's not what the morphine's for. I uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. I, I don't need it. Enough. I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. What is it? Uh, 1905? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just, that's just a, a pin for something. It's okay. I can remember it. So, not an offshore savings account or anything? <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it, it's not important. Huh. Wrote his pin on the back of the card. 1905. Is this yours? Yeah. That's from my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. It's a new car as well. What about your bike? What 
owns a new car, often lends the car to friends. Hold on, what did you say about your bike? Bike is only way Simon can get to work. Got you. Ah, the bike, ah. finally. So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with the car? No, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I got a windfall from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. What was what? the insurance payout? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen down at Atlas. An Atlas? What? Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken, to be honest. The storeroom? They're taking their security very seriously. Okay. Uh, actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. Must have oh, been a so very much info. nice laptop to be able to buy a car with the insurance. Or a very cheap car. Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. Huh. Thank you. Probably be back later. We finally got to use the bike, though, guys. Did you know about Ryan Rand's arthritis? Arthritis? I, I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. He doesn't. He doesn't. The morphine is for the class. Before? He drugs people. Um, nope. Sorry, never heard of him. What do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this for him when we were on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. He can't keep anything. He held down Kate, killing her, and there was a kerfuffle. And then he used his key as a weapon. And in the midst of the fight, the key ring got, like, detached from the key. Why did he kill her, though? I don't know yet. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Actually, yeah, because it had all my college work on it, which I hadn't backed to, up or saved. Use them as a uh, not that it mattered much, you, but uh, I did yourself. buy a new one, and Simon uses it now. When I let him. A lot of Thank stealing you. from Probably this back later. storeroom, considering they kept the drugs in there. I'm looking forward to talking to uh, Ryan about it. First, I'm making a stop with everyone else, though. Making sure I got all the info I, I have. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen this before? No. She had such a poker face on her there. Do you know I'm, anything I'm deep. about this? No, sorry. Okay. Okay. See, That's see you later. for the moment. Thank you. James, my high friend, I've come to speak to you. 
Ask about a few more things, please. Recognise this at all? Yeah, he fixed yes. my laptop. Does Is he laptop? live locally? I think so. Okay. Seen this before? Don't think so. All right, good Be talk. Be back later on, if that's okay. Okay, for those who are joining, maybe you saw the first and second session. I'm seeing a couple who are just now joining us, and we've been playing this game for about an hour and a half. What have you missed, you ask? Um, good question. What have you missed? Uh, you have missed... We found a flashlight, and with that, found some vandalized photos. These vandalized photos, uh, this is Ryan's car. And this girl called Lisa, who was a student at Atlas, she didn't have a good time and uh, it fucked her up uh, mentally. And then she wrote devil worshippers on them. And she claims that they worship the devil and that they put demons inside you. And she says that she has a demon inside her. Whenever it's dark in a room, if she's looking at a mirror, she can see this other person inside her, which is like an older version of herself, kind of. Um, everybody else cl claims that she's crazy. Um, that led to them do Atlas added an application form where you basically answer some questions about yourself. They added this because they wanted to find out about people's history so that they don't run into students like Lisa again. Uh, we've also found out that Paul, the creepy boss, the older boss, is... Um, uh, he likes the young students. He's a creep. Big creep. He was the one... We connected the dots with Emma. He was the one who gave the necklace to Emma. Uh, and he said he likes pretty young women. And and uh, we confronted him on Kate, the dead uh, woman. Uh, he apparently um, tried to get... He claimed that Kate flirts with everybody. And that she made a move on him. And he had all kinds of shit to say about her. Uh, we've also found prescriptions. Uh, morphine, basically. Written in Re Rebecca's name. She claims they're for Ryan, who has arthritis. Um, but everybody we're asking about Ryan's arthritis say that they don't think Ryan has... They didn't realize Ryan had arthritis. So we think... I think that's a lie. I don't think Ryan has arthritis. We're on the hunt thinking that the morphine is what was in... Kate's system when she died. Ryan claims that there's no way of getting into the place where he keeps the morphine on site. However, Simon had a laptop in there uh, and it got stolen. So we now have evidence that, in fact, there is a way to get in there. Uh, the lock was broken and everything. Also, there's some business card and dropped keyring. We haven't gotten much info on that yet. That's the summary of the last hour and a half. That's a cool theory, username. So, let's talk to Paul before we go ask Ryan about this. Couple more questions, if that's okay. I wonder what he's going to say about the arthritis. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? Boom. The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Do you know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have um, some prisoner of sort who does our IT. Large guy. No manners. Seen this before anywhere? 
No. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? Uh, no, I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV the same guy. system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. And when was that? Thank you. Probably be back later. Hmm. When did you say this was stolen, Simon? Simon had his laptop yes! stolen while he was attending a meeting at Atlas. Yeah, but when? When did you have... Hmm. Let's see if we bump into someone here. Well, the theft will have been some time ago, actually. It won't have been after this morphine. I mean, what, Kate died just a few days ago, right? So... That'll have been after. Shame. Well, not yeah. Do you want see where questions, we go. Questions, please. Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We we have our own IT chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's, a, it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> Who's talking, mm. dude? All right. Have you seen this before? No, sorry. Here we go. Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. It was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just have wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. What? Hold up. Storeroom isn't particularly... Keep some morphine in a secure storeroom at Atlas. Ah. What? This guy just goes on so and the stop storeroom drinking, isn't man. isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I kicked them in there. Okay. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Oh, Nobody 1905. Nobody had access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Combination locked room, I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. Why does students keep valuables with them? I swear that that's... Hmm. Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. I've got it. The pin on the card is 1905, I remember, because I was... He said 1-9, I was thinking it was a year. Uh, so if we go here... Oh, I don't even have to... Okay, no. Welcome to the Mirror Room. Ah. This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. That's the demon thing, isn't it? As you it? move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. This is in Just a storeroom, though. <laughs> I am free from my image. I am free from my past. 
I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. Module 2 covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. I'm going to try using the scrying mirror in here. Oh, it's all going down now. It's all going down now. Why does Simon have the code for that? I'll ask room? you a couple more things, please. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. Hmm. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. And you don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really... The idea is that you can see yourself eventually in any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? Not often, a few times a month. Some students find it useful, some don't. What, but you said it's a supply room. I'm so confused. He said he keeps it up there. Box students are distracted. Mirror used a few times a month. What did you say about I just need to, I need to read through what he said here. Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way. L room is locked so students aren't distracted. No? Okay. I thought maybe. They're not coerced. I mean, they're kind of... I mean, you lock the door behind them? That sounds pretty bad, no? So it's not really auto hypnosis then. Is that is that is that it? No, no. Why is it not arthritis? Yeah. Yeah here, keep some morphine in a locked room upstairs. Why are we not pushing this? Thank you. Probably be back later.
I think it's the same room because he's talked about a code for the room, didn't he? All right, let's go talk to the others. Uh, let's start with James. Because I don't think he'll have much to say. So let's get him over with. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Uh, exclamation point is just saving, guys. There's nothing to do with that. Uh, let's talk to Paul. Uh, oh, did he talk about a cabinet? If you don't mind. Okay. Maybe I got it wrong then. Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock. How did you get in there? I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code, are they? I'm not in theory. So how is the room used on the course, then? It's a meditation room where the students can reflect on themselves, literally. And what about the CD? Well, that helps, too. It's part of the program. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to know? It's not really auto hypnosis, is it? We could try, of course, but that's not going to be it. Um, okay, interesting. Let's keep talking to people. Yeah, obviously the Simon knew the code. Okay. We just we have to put the pieces together here, guys. One by one, we'll ask them. Ooh, it's all coming together, isn't it? I feel like it's going fast here. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head, no. I think that's a question for Ryan. All right, good talk. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. I've already talked to Ryan. Let's go talk to Simon. I think Simon... Is where we're at now. I think Simon's gonna ha lie about this. So let's start with Emma. More questions, please. Thank you. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yes. Mirror room. Um. No, I I heard about it, but I think it was only for the students later on the course. Something like that. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's see what he Do says. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. What's it used for? Well, it's mainly for the auto-hypnosis module. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Oh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in. And uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. But you don't know the combination? No. Two things I've just learned. We're gonna, we're gonna contradict him on that. But we also learned it is to do with auto-hypnosis. Um, so I'm gonna use that later. But didn't know the combination to the mirror room. Here we go. Aha. 
So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? No. Except... You'd written it down, hadn't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin. It's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out? It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? You didn't give the number to anyone else? Uh, no. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Yeah. Did Kate have the number? Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We, we both tried to morph in. What do you mean, trying to outdo each other? It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see if you could do something you wouldn't normally do. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. So that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this yes. have been what killed Kate? Eleven o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. Why? What happens? Why can't you stay till tomorrow? Okay. Very blue. Yeah. Can you see shadows? I wonder if they probably filmed this in the day and then added a filter to it. They'd probably wait for a cloudy day, wouldn't they? Rather than. Even sun out. Yeah, it's a, it's a night filter. That's funny. I'm just gonna see if we can find his package in here. It's gonna be with him. Here we go. So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. Let's go talk to him. Oh yeah, it's even it's probably just the same shots, isn't it? With a filter on it. Oh, this guy and his drugs. Ask you a couple more things, please. What can you tell me about several boxes of dried poppy pods in the greenhouse back there? Feel free to take some if you want. What are they for, James? Decoration. Why? Decoration. It's a big market for them among the over 70s. So what are you doing with them? Selling them. To grannies. Okay, James, let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Sure about that. Scout's honour. And who was the guy delivering them? A friend. Someone gave them to him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. You just thought you'd have a look? No particular reason? I'm a plant scientist. That's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, no, I didn't. Hey, hey, that's nothing to do with me. Let's hope not.
Doesn't grow any other drugs. Sold Sylvia to Liam. Probably be Knitting later. Knight, thanks for the 38. Dan UK with the 32. Timo kills Obernick Dick. Welcome back, you guys. Thanks for the love. Strawberry Boy and Kajania Patu. Thanks for the subs. Welcome, guys. In fact, I don't think I want to talk to her. I think I want to talk to Simon about this. Because he used to live with James. Thank you very much, guys. Squidly, Dan Man, it's been a while since I've caught a stream. Been really busy with college work. Still am. Hey, hope things are going well, man. Thanks for the three dollars. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Odd question. But have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in, for opium? No. Though, James did have opium tea ones, I think. Where did he get it from? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. James yes. does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? Well, I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? I went to hospital once, uh, I, I had codeine, and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so... He's allergic to opiates. Well, what about... Never tried any other hallucinogenic drugs apart from salvia. Any, no, I mean, that's not going to be it. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Oh. I mean, I don't think I can. Hold on. Took morphine. Can I push him further on that, do you think? No. I mean, I've already confronted him about that. This is hard to watch. How have you not figured this out? What? Dude, are you like... <laughs> are you a... A contradiction try-hard? <laughs> um... Oh, are opiates connected to morphine? Is opiates, is that a, is morphine in that? Uh -huh. I did not know that. My bad. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. Oh, it's made from opium? You didn't opium? take the morphine okay. at all, did you? Well, no, no, I didn't. Kate did, though. I thought you were trying to outdo each other. That was the point, wasn't it? We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. To see how far she would go to be prime candidate. What candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean, test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me, and the other person's the... Victim. Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary testing. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she was the best student. Well, maybe. I... I don't know. I just did what I was told, okay? Except you decided to give her morphine. But... To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? 
That's all for the moment. Thank you. Hmm. I know where this is going to go. With Strange Ryan. question. Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? Um, don't think so. Isn't that opium? Kind of. It's okay. What did you say about James's drug? Besides, I haven't ever taken any of substances. Come on, I somehow connect these two. No. Uh, let's ask you about this. Do you know what a prime candidate is at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently, you get a great high pay job afterwards. I don't think that really happens, though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they picked Simon, to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Does he? Does he have too many morals? Be back later on, if that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Paul first, actually. Ask about a few more things, please. What do you know about poppy pods? Poppy pods. Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? No. What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch. The peaches. And so what does it mean to be a prime candidate? Success. We have a special relationship with many major international companies. We provide them with our best students. And they get an instant job. And what do you get out of it? Well, it's a little kickback. It's just business, Inspector. Slavery. James was right. He, uh, it, it's not the best. It's the most vulnerable. They get them high on drugs. They get them, they get them high to, to test the best students. And then they get them addicted to the drugs. And when they're all broken, they ship them off as slaves. But there's been two suicides because, uh, you know, they pushed them too far before they shipped them off as slaves. I'm telling you, you, James is on it. I'm joining him. I'm joining James. I'm joining James. Maybe, maybe it's not even suicide. Maybe uh, they started resisting and so they killed them. Something, something there. But I, I do think the slavery thing is true. Ryan, I've come to take you down. Got more questions, if that's okay. Know anything about poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods? <laughs> well, don't tell anyone, Inspector. But I hear that you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. Oh, he's very upset about that. Now, tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> prime candidates are simply the best students. The ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well, we have a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It's, it's a very simple deal. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> now, Simon Thompson, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives. I, uh, He's getting nervous. I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide her. Students aren't tested. I swear you don't. What about this? This seems like a fucking test. Oh, there's so much here. Hold on. Uh, the aptitude test, dude. Introduce an aptitude test. Uh, it's not really what he means, but I gotta try every... Okay, every corner. Never ask Simon to test Kate. Simon have been trying to undermine Kate. Okay. Uh... Oh, there's, there's so much. Is this, could this be considered a test? So tell me more about this doll burning. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the course. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So the dolls are... You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She, she quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere sounds with them like before a they test. actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying not. your past? Of oh. course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to I our past. they all said that... Particularly you, by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably... I thought they all... Hold on. Uh, I thought that... Um, who said that Kate's drunk all the time? That was Emma, maybe. First met Kate three months ago at Atlas now. There's so much, guys. There's so much. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday, then you came straight back with some of the students, is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long day, and benefits of being married to the landlady. How did she seem that night? The landlady? Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual. It was for her, yes. I mean, it didn't impair her ability, though. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she seemed to be enjoying the course? Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. When did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean, did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. Okay, so he does say she was a bit of a star. I think it's a bit of a leap what you're suggesting. I saw someone suggest this. Uh, nose open can be extracted from poppy seeds. Well, we may as well try. Uh, doesn't know anything about plants. Try it? Seems odd that I would bring that up. Yeah, no. Um, hmm. 
think there's something for me to... The drug one, Tio? What are you talking about? I, I, I think you're stretching on this one. Uh, I, I really don't think that's it. But I'll, I'll do it so that you feel good. Feel satisfied. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to the, the rest of the guys. I think you. I need more info. Yeah, I feel like we're real close to figuring this out. What what are we at? Yeah, oh yeah, this is gonna go fast now, I think. I'm gonna talk to the chief, see what uh, info I give him. found out is that Simon was asked by Ryan to test Kate to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate. Prime what? Prime candidate. It's the best of the bunch. The best Atlas wonder student. if I could challenge the Simon the on the prime candidate thing. Fantastic salary as soon as they leave the course. About uh, her being drunk all the time. Work out who's the best of the bunch? That's what I'm trying to work out. Well, that's very interesting. I'll tell you what I know, shall I? That name they used to trade under Third Eye. Turns out they were investigated three years ago over an allegation of physical abuse. Torture, Jenks. Witness had puncture marks through both her hands. And Atlas weren't charged? There was nothing to charge them with. The witness inflicted the wounds herself. Witness said it was something called threshold testing, whatever that means. Go figure, as they say in America. Can I ask the Rands about this? Well, there's no point. They won't tell you anything, and it'll just put them on the defensive. Just keep chipping away at them. Try and find out what this testing involves. That's the best thing. Get something on them, and you'll be in a better position. Right. Thank you, Chief. Dearly there, Jax. Hmm. Well, let's start with Simon. Yeah, I do think that him saying that they don't test people, I think I can challenge him on that. Let me just see if I can please? ask about what did you originally say about Kate Vine? In the social with Kate outside Atlas, Kate often seemed drunk at Atlas. Yet you said Fuck! Why would she be a prime candidate if she turned up at Atlas often drunk? Thank you. Probably be back later. Mm, we're getting close, chat. We're getting close here. Let me talk to Paul. i ask you a couple more things, please. Nah, uh, that's it's definitely, I need to talk to Ryan. I think it's Ryan. It's Ryan we're meant to uh, get the last piece of the puzzle with. Let's see if we bump into the cleaner here, maybe. Come on. Odd times, 11 p.m. Surely we're meant to bump into him soon. No. Yeah, I think it's something to do with testing we're meant to confront him about. A few more questions, if you don't mind. So, 
You say students aren't tested. And you never ask Simon to test Kate. Let's look at what you say about Atlas, shall we? Oh, I'm close, chat. I'm close! What do you know about this? Not much. So you've never seen this before? You don't know anything about Third Eye? Well, I don't remember seeing it, now. You don't recognize any of the symbols on it? Oh, sorry. How do I get all of this info, then? <laughs> Was it the mask? Yeah, after I contradict him. Okay. Claims auto hypnosis not a major part of the course. Mirror room. Come on, I've already tried this, but it's so weird that this doesn't. Be back later on, if that's okay. Have I talked to Rebecca about the latest finding? Yes! Thank you. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Ah, perfect. What do you know about poppy pods? Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here. Not that I remember. I mean, obviously there's more to the story. Do you know what a prime candidate is? At Atlas. Um, it's the best student. And what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's the idea anyway. But? Mostly they aren't up to it. And what happens then? I get sacked. Or killed. I already tried that, Mr. Maxi. Uh, doesn't know about, never seen anyone selling or buying pods. What did you have to say about the drug? Don't know anything about poppy pods. I'm I'm stretching now. I realize, but uh, where do I go? Uh, this, 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 this. Uh, 
Mm. OK, that's it for now. Thank you. Now that it's dark, let's try the mirror again. No. Oh, here we go. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing! You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. <laughs> Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, he doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. What is this? A test. Of what? A test. What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A pain threshold test. I thought, uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out. Inspector Jenks. And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle? You disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do you want me to make you? It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Don't make any rash commitments. Again, the thing with the hands as well. The scar on the hands that he was talking about. What was that, years yes. ago? Where they were investigated, right? A uh, third well, eye was well. investigated for it. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Is your keys, Kyle? No. So that's threshold testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob first. Casual breaking. I mean, this is very illegal. Surely. Bingo. Well, Ryan, what have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. Ah, uh, here we go, guys. I'm about to fuck you up, Brian. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? 500 pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. I suppose so. So why were you going to give Kate 500 pounds, Ryan? It was just a little incentive, that's all. Just a little incentive. Oh, wow. Not very little, Ryan. Five hundred pounds. She was a, a very good student. We, we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No! Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? Monument is a little incentive for Kate. 
heard Kate wanted to leave after this. No ulterior reason for giving Kate the money. Why did she leave? Huh? Uh, hmm. uh, Formula Paddy, thanks for the four months. Been loving you caught this in 2016, 2017. Finally have the time in my life to watch your live streams. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thanks for the four. Senpai Yuki with a 23 as well. Hope you have a great weekend. You too, man. Duraclicity, yes. thanks for subscribing and simply better. Welcome, guys. Enjoy your stay. Duraclicity with a five dollars as well. Just got my course of retro sort of wireless headset. You see, equality settings, yeah, equalizing settings are confusing as hell, though. You got this, Derek. They enjoy the headset, man. Much love. Much love. Thank you. Got him done with the three hundred bits as well. Much love, buddy. The three hundred. Evan DB, how you doing? Three dollars. Hope you're okay. Been watching a lot of your stuff again during my unemployment during COVID. Just got a call that I can go back to work, so I wanted to thank you for the entertainment. Let's play again sometime if you're up to it. It's been a long time, man. That's a that's nice to see you. Thanks for the three dollars. Congrats on getting back to work. I'd be down, honestly. That was years ago, man. Lovely stuff. How, um, uh, mm. I'm struggling here. I'm thinking about whether I, whether I should go pee or not. Play some golf it? Yeah, that'd be fun, man. So many memories. Yeah, why did she want to leave? I'm trying to connect it with the fact that I heard... I mean, he hasn't said it, but Simon said she was up to be prime candidate. Heard Kate wanted to leave. Kate enjoyed the course and appeared happy. Can we connect it with the early ones? No. How do we... No entire reason for giving Kate the money. I'm Thank you. Talk to the others about Probably it. be back later. What, did he talk about students not being bribed? Did he directly please. say that? Thank you. God, where could that be? Here? When did he say that? I was trying to connect that earlier, wasn't I? Here, students are coerced or bribed in any way. There it is. There it is. Aha. Uh -huh. So, students aren't coerced or bribed in any way, except Kate. I'm not sure what you mean. You said you were going to give Kate the 500 pounds as an incentive. That's coercion, isn't it? I really don't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. It was an incentive, that's all, a little encouragement. So, how often do you use incentives? Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. Assessment? We have to assess students as they progress. We, d we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam or anything like that. Gotcha. Uh, people pay for this course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment? Yes, we are. We have to. This is a business, not a charity. So Ryan's claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involve threshold testing, I wonder? Or was the money for something else? Uh... Uh, where's that? Uh, was that here? Fuck. Gave the money to test assess her. Um, students aren't tested. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test students or not? 
Well, some of them, yes. Including Kate? Yes. Why was she being tested? She was being tested because... Because we wanted to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate, OK? So Kate was in the running to be prime candidate? Yes! And did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, I did. But I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How far did you ask him to push her? I didn't ask him to push her. I asked him to test her. There's a huge difference! Oh, wow. Yes! Oh. If Simon decided to give her too much caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. So if he did anything wrong, it was his own responsibility. This is he the did it with his own right mind now. and his own hand. We had nothing to do with it. Yes. Midnight, and still no suspect, unless you count everyone I've interviewed. It's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible for Kate's death, but I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. Oh, I loved the acting, dude. That was great. Here we go. Here we go. I've got to pee. Oh, it's all coming together now, isn't it, chat? Damn, that acting from, uh, from, from yes. Ryan. He really lost his cool, didn't he? Golden Shrimp, Hazard Core, the Purple Iron. Thank you guys for the love. Thank you, Hazard Core. Thanks for the two years. I'd like to start with Rebecca. This is the last hour, guys. We're about to find out who killed, who killed her. Ask you a couple more things, please. Did you know Kate Vine was a prime candidate? No. Oh. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank See you. you later. Probably be back later. Let's talk to James because I don't know if I can get much out of. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go talk to Simon and Emma. Just a At few more questions midnight, if you don't mind. I'm coming in. Uh, Do you know whether Kate was in the running to be prime candidate or not? I don't, but I do think she would have been chosen just because she was, you know, Kate. You didn't discuss it with Kate? No. No, she never talked about this. I think Kate would have been chosen, yet... A drinking problem at college. Maybe that's earlier. Didn't see Kate very often. Though she'd improved in recent months. Okay, yeah. I mean, she'd only been an Atlas for three months. That's all for the moment. Thank you. How do you think you'd have reacted if you'd found out that Kate had been chosen to be prime candidate? Is that... Was she? 
I'm just asking how you think you'd react. I don't know. I wouldn't react in any way, really. I'm, I'm not bothered. I don't think she was, though. What makes you think that? Well, it's just an impression I got. What? You know, she's a bit flaky, to be honest. You're the one who said it in the first place. not really prime candidate material. Huh? Bro, you said... During this whole thing, you said... I swear he's the one who said it. In the beginning. Visited the mirror room a few times. Had been asked to test Kate by Ryan. What? You fucking piece of shit. You're the one who said it in the first place. When you told me about prime candidates, you said that Kate was in the running for it. This piece of shit, dude. What a absolute liar. Mmm, I got food coming. Alex is making a lovely dinner. We are being gaslighted, yeah. Could be primed. Be back later on if that's okay. Simon, you know more than you're giving me. James, I come to you in need. Tell me what you know. Ask about a few more things, please. Okay, good talk. See you later. Probably be back later. Paul, you're the one who I'm about to... Oh, I'm gonna investigate you so hard, Paul. Paul... What's Paul doing up? It's midnight. I bet he's up worrying, thinking okay. I'm about to find out everything. Now, why do you think Ryan might want to give Kate a check for 500 pounds? I've really no idea. Where did you find it? Just outside. You better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far as his offering them cash. Was Kate a prime candidate? Well, as Ryan has probably already told you, yes, she was. Did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, it's company policy. Leaders don't get involved. Mm, and it covers your back, of course. Well, nobody knows the students better than they do, Inspector. It's much better to let them just work it out among themselves. It isn't very professional to force students to test each other to the point where one of them gets killed, Paul. We don't force students to do anything that they don't want to do, Inspector. So you don't force them into being tested? No, we don't encourage anybody to hurt or offend anybody else here. You don't use threshold testing, for instance? No. If Simon Thompson went too far with Kate, that's his responsibility, not ours. He's the one you should be speaking to, if truth be told. I don't trust him myself. I don't use threshold. Are you guys are saying that Kate was brown? Ah, she had brown hair. I mean, I don't think I can like at all mention that unless it says, "Oh, Kate was brown haired." Why'd you say she had a thing for blonde? Thing for blondes. No, I don't. I, I don't think I can. Maybe it. Maybe they didn't think about that when they chose the the actress. Huh. 
Um, right. Yes! Kate was being tested for prime candidate. Leaders don't get involved in testing students. Don't use threshold testing. Students not encouraged to hurt each other. I feel like there's something there. Um... Uh, uh, not encouraged to hurt each other. Kate was being tested for prime candidate. Only met Kate a few times. No? Hmm. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Who haven't I spoken to? I've spoken to everyone, haven't I? James didn't have anything to say. Ooh, I haven't. Sp oh no, I have. Hey, CJ, can't say I'm watching the VODs just off on the Prime. Thank you, CJ. Barracks is with a 20 months as well. Much love, man. I must be running into the cleaner at some point. <gasps> oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'll be checking that out soon. A few more questions, news. please. Thank you. Probably be back later. Ah, uh, that's Does all Emma not have Thank anything? You. What did she say about the check? Did she say something about the check? Wouldn't know about the be money. Be back later okay. on if that's Weird. okay. What's the check? Fuck, guys. Yes! How do the dots connect? Yes! Mmm, you beautiful woman. Thank you, Alex. It's, um...
pork with caramelized onion on top. And then just some carrots and, um, I've forgotten the name of them. The white carrots, the, the root, that other root vegetable, which is white. Um, with some, like, a little bit of sauce on it as well. It's nice. Parsnip. Yeah, parsnip. <clears throat> I bought this pork the other day at the store. They, um, my local store came with a special pork. That was, um, they like advertise that it's like from free range pigs. And it specifically says that they've been walking free, you know, outside, um, freely, um, uh, all year round, even in the winter. So I feel like I'd totally buy that even, even for the extra price, like a, Um, yeah, so I, I bought that. Anyway, that's what this is. This is really nice. I've been trying to connect the birthmark insult and the fact that they weren't allowed to hurt others for ages, and I can never connect it. I don't think... I think we're past that now, though. Hmm. Who shall we talk to? I might go talk to the chief. See what he has to say. Last time he gave me some info as well. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Yes! Thanks, Gypsy. Hello, Jenks. Yes, I'm still up. Thanks for asking. Chief Ryan admitted that he asked Simon to test Kate to see if she was good enough to be prime candidate. But he's throwing it all back on Simon. Says it was up to Simon about how he went about testing her. Very convenient. What does Paul say? He pretty much backs Ryan up. He claims they don't do any threshold testing. <laughs> well, that's a load of horse droppings. He knows you're on to him, Jenks, which means you're getting somewhere at last. It's only taken you until midnight, but well done nonetheless. Listen, call me back. I'm watching an old movie, but Christopher Lee's only just turned up, so I'll be here for another hour or so, yeah? Okay, Chief. I'll call again. Yeah, yeah, bye. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. So they don't use threshold testing.
Uh, I mean, he didn't encourage and didn't expect. I don't think I can really put that on him. Um, leaders don't get involved in testing students. Yet you did a whole theft stunt. No? Okay. Hmm. Th threshold testing. Knows Ryan was interested in blondes. What about Lisa? Wait. No. Um, they don't use threshold testing, and yet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm having trouble here. You say you don't endorse threshold testing, that's the phrase, isn't it? Yes. Except you do, Paul, because you told me that the students use that CD in the mirror room. I have to do with anything. I've listened to that CD, and it very clearly mentions threshold testing. You keep batting this away, Paul. We don't really use hypnosis. The students aren't really tested. But I am this close to launching a full-scale investigation. Look, we get a kickback from these students, and they have to be exceptional. Of course we have to test them. That doesn't mean we do anything illegal. What do you think we do? Bump off the ones we don't like? Well, that depends on how far you push them, doesn't it? Well, we certainly don't kill them. Nobody here wanted Kate dead. I'm sure they didn't. But what do you expect, Paul, when you put students under that much pressure? She was a very, very valuable student. She was worth a lot to the business. Really? And how much would that be? Well, if you really want to know, 50 grand. She was worth 50 grand? Yes. What, you were selling her? Of course we were selling her. You don't get this, do you? We make perfect employees. Month after month. That's all we do. What do you mean, perfect employees? What big business needs, Inspector, more than anything else, is none of this altruistic, goody-goody crap. What we look for is people with ambition. No ethics. Push. Greed is good. All right? We don't deal with all this comfort stuff. The survival of the fittest. That's all there is. There's no higher purpose, no big plan. There's nothing at the end of the rainbow. Except what you have and you can enjoy in the here and now. And what do you enjoy now, Paul? <clears throat> You're going to have to excuse me. Inspector, I'm a very busy man. I've got work to do. It's midnight. What work? Go to sleep. I'll see myself out. Lovely man, your father. Shut the gate on your way out. doing his level best to shut this place down. Get rid of him. <laughs> He's a policeman, we can't just... You sort this, Ryan. You man up and you sort it. Tonight.
Kyle? Yes! So, I'll admit, that doesn't I, uh, sound good. Two totally morally bankrupt men are plotting to get rid of me. It's midnight. I don't have any backup and I don't even have a mobile phone. This is potentially quite bad. And what's Kyle got to do with it? I think I might make my way over to Atlas while Ryan isn't there. Maybe lock myself in. I'll admit, I saw some guy who kept telling me it in the chat. So, but I would never have gotten there. Why was this? What did the CD have to do with threshold testing? Did they just mention it? Am I meant to try to remember that? I don't remember anything like that. Oh, it said something about threshold testing? Alright, cool. I wonder if I could have replayed it. Oh yeah, I could. I think if I went to the mirror room, I think I could replay it. I guess that's how I would have gotten that. Don't tell me anything more, chat. Because that kind of sucked. At that point, I just have to try it. Because you've said it already. But let me figure this out on my own now. It was too much to hope that Ryan had left the place open. Do I have any sort of keys? The car keys. Hmm. Oh, I've used it all already. Okay. I thought you said you wanted to go back to Atlas, man. Ah yes, let's take a stroll down the woods. And I know my life is in danger. Prove to me that you're man enough to do this, Kyle. And then you can deal with that ridiculous police inspector. What is this? What the hell? Scotland Yard. Not hell. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Inspector. What are you doing here? Inspecting. So, uh, come on. Let's have it. I don't think you'd understand, Inspector. The best thing that you can do is turn around, go away, and leave us to it. Knife. What? That knife gives me a perfect right to stick my nose in, investigate, and interfere. <laughs> this is all part of the Atlas course. It's a physical endurance exercise. Drop the knife. The knife, Kyle! Kyle. Drop it! Not looking 100% brilliant for you, Ryan. Oh, please, Inspector, you've poked your nose into Atlas's affairs enough times to know that imaginative flair is part of the course's success. Our lessons are reinforced by a unique emotional experience. Terror? It's an extremely evocative tool. Well, it's a good job you're not in charge of the national curriculum. <laughs> now look, Inspector, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're thinking, but believe me, Atlas had nothing to do with the deaths of those people. Eyewitness account of a satanic sacrifice in the woods. That's not what we call circumstantial evidence, Ryan. Simon. Now, I saw Simon walking home with Kate last Friday after the meeting. Now, Simon had some strange idea that he was in the running to become prime candidate. <laughs> well, a knob of butter has more chance of becoming prime minister. Oh, wait. So are you telling me... You're... Hey! Simon killed her. Well, it seems reasonable. It's likely, isn't it? any more likely than you, Ryan. Pig! Oh, there's the P again. Oh! Police brutality. 
Oh! Dun dun dun! You okay? Who is she? Who are you? You save someone from being sacrificed, and that's the thanks you get. If that wasn't an occult ceremony, I don't know what is. The Rands have been lying all along. But what's Simon going to say about Ryan's accusation? Let's find out. This is going all over the place, chat. I feel like that was Emma. I think that was Emma right there. Let's see if she's here. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Did Simon mention See. walking home with anyone after the meeting last Friday? No, it's he totally just came why. He didn't mention walking home with Kate? No, definitely not. Okay, cool. Thank you. Probably be back later. Alex. Yeah? That food was absolutely delicious. Yeah? Yeah. You've done it again. I know. I have, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, you're brilliant. Yes! Out of nothing. I mean, out of some pretty good pork. <laughs> you good? You need do you need help? <laughs> do you cook it all? Nah. Unless you count Nah never mind, I'm gonna make a joke. Um right, let's go with this. What would you say if I said it's been suggested that you were seen walking home with Kate after Atlas last Friday? What? By who? The same person who suggested that you wanted Kate out of the picture because you found out she was in the running to be prime candidate. What? Who said that? Just a question. I didn't think I was in the running. It was Ryan, wasn't it? I am in no position to say. It was Ryan! Simon, calm down. No, I can prove it. Kate's driving license, give it to me. Why? Here we go, Kate's the tape. driving license, please. <sighs> See that pattern on the tape there? Let me show you something. See this pattern? Now look at that. It's the same pattern. This has come from the same roll of tape as this. So? So there's only one person who's taped like that. Ryan. He gave me this piece of tape when I was in his office once. Why has Kate's driving license got a piece of Ryan's tape on it? I have no idea, Simon. Where did you find it? Oh, by the lake. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Ryan was testing her. He was doing a boundary test to see how much she would do, how far she would go to be a prime candidate. But it all went wrong. <laughs> okay. It's one of the things we do at the course, right? You give something that's important to you to someone else, then they go and hide it somewhere. It's to teach you to not be bothered when you lose something that's important to you, all right? Kate gives her driving license to Ryan. Ryan goes and hides it somewhere down the lake. Kate finds out, she goes down looking for it, probably drunk, and she falls in. I'm afraid I find that a bit far-fetched, Simon. <laughs> it makes perfect sense if you know anything at all about how Atlas works. But Simon, if you got the tape from Ryan, Kate could have got it from him. He told me he doesn't lend it out. He lent it to you. But I didn't kill her! Do a lab test on the card! His DNA will be all over it. And what if yours is all over it? <laughs> it won't be! I didn't kill her! I'm sorry, just 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 give me a minute. I need I need some painkillers. Morphine.
Oh, he left. He left, Alex. Huh? Luna's waiting for me. Where did he go in such a hurry? Is he trying to act as suspiciously as possible? He's going to Atlas. He'll have unlocked Atlas. It always comes back to Atlas. Although, let's just check that he isn't here. No, okay. Simon! Oh. No? Okay. Uh, where did he go? He's in the pub. He's chilling in the pub. He needs a pint. And this is where go left to the restaurant finally comes into play. No? A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen patterned tape like this anywhere before? Oh, Ryan's got some. I know, because I borrowed it. When was that? A couple of months ago. Have you still got it? I don't think so. I haven't seen it since then. Then what about... Your broken pub window. Which you fixed. Okay, broke the... Broke a strict pub right. Taped over the broken window to make it safer. You last saw it two months ago? Doesn't sound likely, uh -huh. Rebecca. You last saw that sticky tape two months ago, is that correct? Yes. So how come you used it last week to tape over the broken window outside? That's the same tape. Well, I must have been mistaken. You see, the reason I'm asking is that it's exactly the same tape that was found attached to Kate's driving licence, found at the scene. The tape that only Ryan has. Ryan, and of course, you. So what are you saying? Who's got the tape now? Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know where it is. Why are you asking me about this tape? You seem nervous, Rebecca. Is there a problem? Well, you're practically accusing me of having something to do with that woman's murder, aren't you? I wasn't accusing you of anything, Rebecca. Unless there's something you'd like to tell me. No, I wouldn't like to tell you anything. OK, well, that's fine. Obviously, uh, we'll be swabbing everyone in the area for DNA, so if anything comes up on Kate's licence, DNA traces. What'll come up? Nothing will come up. Right, I've had enough. I've got to get back. Rebecca. Would you like to explain to me exactly what is going on? Which bit? The fact that some leggy bitch was trying to steal my husband? There I it is! You had better tell me what you know, Rebecca. Okay, you want to know what I know? Kate Vine seduced my husband and was going to blackmail him. Not only did she sleep with him, that whore oh, did it just she heard money, wrong. Our money. How during the argument, during the argument, she thought Emma. it was. I knew it was her arguing with Emma. Bowman. No, but it was Emma, Emma who was slept trying to talk her out of it. And how did she come to be at the lake? Okay, or maybe Emma lied. She dropped that driving license thing when she came in she, she was drunk she dropped her bag i took it out to the woods and stuck it over the lake and then i waited for her when she came out i i told her where it was that someone had just run off into the woods with it you led her to the lake she was reaching out over the lake to get it i didn't do anything she just fell in but you let her drown it was dark. I, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't help her. You got her. the wrong really? woman. It was Emma. Emma admitted to us. You try, Rebecca. Well, it was too late. She was just flapping about in the water. It was pathetic. She was making these gurgling sounds. And what did you do? I got a big stick. I just pushed her down with it until she stopped. Well, she was dead anyway. What did it matter? You killed her, Rebecca. But she slept with my husband. She didn't, Rebecca. What do you mean? You got the wrong girl. Uh, Emma. Who? You heard wrong. Emma. It was Emma. 
Rebecca Rand, I am arresting you for the murder of Kate Vine. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be taken down and will be used in evidence against you. Do you understand? Yes. Well, I just pushed her down with a stick? She was already so, dead? It appears that Kate Vine's death was a tragic case of mistaken identity. But there are some loose threads here. What was Ryan doing with Kyle and that girl in the woods? What if I hadn't interrupted? And what really happened to Liam last year? It seems I've only scratched the surface of Atlas and the Rand business empire. Trying to find out about Paul Rand's past is like peering into dense fog. He gives nothing away and covers his tracks with military efficiency. However, what is known is that Paul Rand has a lot of connections in high places. Politicians, celebrities, business leaders. Perhaps James Wilson's ideas weren't too wide of the mark after all. I get the feeling there's still a lot more to learn about the Rand business empire. You're gonna have to excuse us. Atlas is closed for the moment, but we'll be open again very soon. Thank you for your interest. What? But there's so many questions. No, hold on. What was the point of everything that I learned? What's this side story I got to- Here I am, like, Atlas is handling, like, slaves? And, and, like, are there demons inside everyone? Why did Simon leave here at the end? And then at the end of the whole thing, we find out that it's simply down to her killing her after she heard her argue because she thought she was sleeping with him and it has nothing to do with everything else the game was cut short due to funding i think there's a sequel coming they had such a deep story going and in the end it was just the bartender being jealous i don't know i'm left with a bittersweet feeling like, I'm, I, it was good, but I'm a little bit, like, I, 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 I was so into... God, it's like, it's like I've gone into a huge spider web looking for gold. When really the gold was right next to me before I even went into the web in the first place. You know, I, I feel like I'm in this, all these theories and stuff, and in the end it's just like, oh, okay. It's just that. Are there multiple endings or something? Made on a tiny budget. If you'd like to, please leave a review of the game and make yourself heard. See, the, the, the problem that I have with it is just that I'm just a little bit like 96% progress. I feel like we've been in, we're in this web and well, what about the guitars? What, what about all the guitars? What about the guitars in the fucking garage? What's up with them? Well, no, I'm not, I'm not, no. Progress a hundred percent, okay, yeah. Hold on, where the fuck are you? Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's replay. Can I not go to after that? How, do I have... Okay, here we go. Yeah, 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 good, good, good. So Simon isn't here anymore, yeah? Yeah, where the fuck is Simon? Hold on, I need to find Simon. There's no way Simon just left and then they're like, Oh, we don't know what happened to him. There must be a way to find Simon. Wait, what, what about the... What about... What about... Wait, what? What about... What about... 
What about the IT guy? This big IT guy? What did that have to do with anything? And, and, and the cleaner! What about the cleaner who's there at odd hours? There were so many details they gave us that had nothing to do with anything. I've been waiting this whole time to run into the cleaner. Listen, I'm all for getting little details and you have to sort fact from fiction and sort like what's relevant and what isn't. But there's so much that they built upon, you know? I know I, I get not all details need to be important, but in this case I feel like none of the details yes. were important. I just feel like, oh. No, 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 not Rebecca. Where the fuck are you? Are you down? You down here? Oh. Read the wiki? Oh. Are you with James? Are you here to get morphine from James? Come on. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Ever seen tape like this anywhere before? No. Do you know how well Simon knew Kate? Not really. Did you ever see them together? No, <laughs> why? Do you think he killed her? I've no idea. Do you think he'd be capable of that? Don't you think we're all capable of it? Yes! No, I don't. Sure. So you've never been in your police car responding to an incident? Driven past school at high speed. Don't know. Maybe. Well, you've answered your own question then. When you've got a need and things get in your way, it's human nature to either ignore them or get rid of them. Any way you can. That's all murder is, isn't it? Maybe you're right. Thank you. Probably be back Where later. did James leave the house and then go straight straight over to fucking uh what should I call it straight straight over to uh at dead of night did i make him crazy where the fuck is you know what it's like or, or, yeah, Simon, I mean. Uh, you know what it's like? It's like... It's like we were in the middle of a plot with Simon. Uh, yeah. And then in the middle of the plot line with Simon, they ran out of budget. And they were like, alright guys, so we gotta wrap this up in three scenes. Simon, you're gonna leave for morphine, and... You're gone, you're gone, you're gone. We, you know, that, that actor, he leaves, you know, he's like, okay, I'll do one more scene. I'm gonna leave. Mid-talk, you know? And then, and then, fuck it, fuck it. What are we doing with the bartender? She's, okay, let's just make it a classic. She's jealous, and she, I don't know, misheard the, the argument, and she killed the wrong girl for it. And, and then what, what about all this, what about all this Atlas stuff? Oh, we'll just wrap it up with a quick monologue, how there's so much more to it that we never got the answers to. And you never will. Like, and then that's just it. Like, they just, they just, like, finished it, just like that. Ah, oh, this is, this is, I feel like... I've been blue-balled. Are there sequels or something? What was the point of all of this? 2015, and then in 2020 they came with That Dead of Night. <sighs> Can you blame them if they don't have the money? No, but I could still get frustrated. <laughs> the guy literally did run out of money. He wanted it to be longer, but he nearly went bankrupt. I really wish I knew that <laughs> going into this. God damn it. What's it called? Contradiction. Developer. What do you do if he makes a 4,000 pound budget full motion video and murder mystery? Answer is contradiction. Exhausted indie developer. We spoke to Tim Fall in the blah 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 blah. I still think of it as a demo, really, because it's how we started out. 
Ah! It was kind of a case of right. I don't know if this is gonna work. One of those things, it was so up in the air, I didn't know how to approach it. So I thought I'll do a demo, and then at least I'll be able to work out what works and what doesn't work. But I realized that with work, I'd have to actually create a demo. I might as well make the game. Well, why didn't you sit down and plan it all before you started? If you're making a story, plan the whole story out. <sighs> That's what contradiction is, really. It's a cut-down version of a longer story that I had in mind. That's so sad, man. That's so sad. The good, good news for Fallen is that the game doesn't feel like a demo. It's a smart take on the sort of British murder mystery you'd watch on a Sunday night. Fallen is clearly frustrated by the limitations the budget put on production. Filling me in on elaborate set pieces that he wanted to film, most of which I won't mention here for fear of spoilers, but couldn't. A lot of scenes that we really wanted to put in there were crucial to the plot explanation. We just weren't able to film. What? I had all these physical puzzles involving all kinds of things. Switching on lights, moving things around in the court and someone appearing, a workman at one point leaving something behind. All the stuff that was written in that we just didn't have anywhere near the time to be able to film it. Talking to him, you can hear that Fallen is torn between the potential of a sequel and the memory of the back-breaking work he had to make it happen. It's been basically pretty much every day, either a full day or half day basically for two years. I'm just not doing it again, basically. Life's too short. I just can't do it again. He says with a sigh. This is so sad. If I'm gonna do it again, it would definitely be, I would split it and I would get people involved to do various aspects of it. But then that budget appears. That's why you need the budget, isn't it? <sighs> I'll give him the money. <laughs> I'll give him the money to finish the story. <laughs> this feels like such a- I felt like it was building to something much more interesting. Every twist and turn was so interesting, and then in the end, I just feel like it got so simplified with the ending. I'll tell you what, dude. What's your name? Tim- Tim! Tim! Let's sit down and talk, dude. <laughs> I'll give you the money, and if any of these actors aren't up for returning, it's been six years, I'll... <laughs> I'll feel... <laughs> I'll get some wigs. <laughs> I'll get some wigs. I'll, I, I can act. I can, I, I can, listen, let's face it, they weren't putting in 100% anyway. I can, I can, I can, I can fill in where they won't. And we'll finish the story. You had 4,000 pounds. <laughs> To, to do all of this, surely, surely, I will, I will put in three, four thousand pounds for us to just finish this. We'll go back to location, you and I will do it as a two man, <laughs> you'll have the camera, I'll film everything, and then you, I'll pay you your wage to develop it all, and we can have a satisfying finished story, okay? It'll be great, it'll be great, let's finish this, contradiction two. <laughs> It doesn't matter that they've aged six years. If they're willing to join in, then that's fine. Otherwise, I'll fill in. It's okay. Let's do this, dude. 4,000 pounds is definitely not enough. What are you talking about? He had 4,000 pounds to do this much. This was... This was eight hours of footage. Surely he doesn't need- I, I, fi I figured he needs another four hours, three to four hours of gameplay to finish this story. He clearly had a story in mind. Let's do it. Let's finish it. We're so close. I'm not saying let's read the game. I'm saying let's finish the story. I just read the saddest article with this guy. He probably pulled in a lot of favors to do it, Theo. I'll do the same. 
He's in England, right? Filming this. I bet you a lot of English viewers would love to come in and do this for free, right? Easy stuff. Let's do it. Oh, I'm I'm serious, Tim. If you see this, let's, let's we we have to finish the game. Are there people upset about this? No, everyone's so happy. Simpletons, man. That this, they cannot see that Tim. He, you know, it ended with such a simple. He had all of these twists and turns, and he had it planned. He had it planned for such an advanced, impressive ending. These guys don't know what they're talking about. Great plot. You only really discover for certain who did it at the very end. Yes! But they don't realize that it could have been so much more! Tim had a vision! Tim had... Greatness inside him, and... If only he had the one thing that we're all limited by in this world. Money. If only he had that one thing, this... He could have been... Oh, Dude, it was leading to so many things. The demons. What about what about fucking Rebecca yes. in the in the mirror talking about the demons? Dude, I've been waiting for so long to use this fucking mirror to be able to see a demon or something. And in the end, nothing. Nothing. No demons. We went nowhere. Uh, her name's Lisa. Fuck it. Who's Rebecca? I don't know who Rebecca is. Uh, it all led to so many things, and then they just took a stop and took Rebecca the bar lady out. And just said, yeah, you did it. And nothing to do with anything. They just, uh, we figured this out from the start. The whole tape thing, we had that on hour one, guys. We could have immediately gone through and said, hey, what, what about this tape? And then, and then that would have been it. But instead we got taken through this journey. Tim took us on a journey and he didn't get to end it. Tim, let's do it, man. I bet you this keeps Tim up at night. I tell you, it'll keep me up at night. Let's finish it, Tim. I'll pay the wage. <laughs> I'll come in with the budget. It'll be a great, great story. I've read the article. I'm inspired. Yes! Adventure gamers appreciated the slickness of the production and the in-depthness of the story, though found the conclusion underwhelming and a bit of a bait and switch. While Fallen would love to make a sequel, he had not so fond memories of the incredibly strenuous effort he put into making the first game. For a sequel to ever come to pass, he would need to amass a suitable budget and pay professionals to do all the tasks he had to learn himself. I feel like he wrote this himself. You're selling it, Tim. Keep going. A potential evolution of the series would be by approaching Amazon TV, thereby turning it from a video game into an interactive TV show. You're losing me, buddy. Due to a lack of funding, Fallen was forced to invest thousands of pounds of his own money to finish his vision of the game. Even then, he had to cut many of his story threads. Let's bring them back, Tim! Let's complete your vision! For this reason, according to him, a sequel depends on whether I make my investment back on this first one. You did, you did. Once the player finishes the game, there is a plea by the developers to co contribute to the crowdfunding effort to make the sequel a reality. It seems he removed that, which is a little yes. sad. <gasps> Due to the Atlas element of the game not having a satisfactory conclusion in contradiction, Fallen would like the sequel to draw to a close this story before spending the rest of the game embarking on a brand new adventure with Inspector Jenks. A larger budget would see added physical interaction to the gameplay, a different location, such as a coastal setting, and a night and day structure which would take place over a week, rather than contradictions, seven hours. Tim, listen man, you need a producer, I'm your guy. Let's go into this. We're, well, we're talking, it looks like we're talking a little bit more than your original budget. We'll get some viewers together to help out in areas. I'll make sure we're paid. 
Let's get the vision going, okay? Oh, it's gonna be great. I'll act where I can. We'll bring in- we'll bring me in a new character. Let's change the story. The boss guy, he died. I'll be, um... I'll be the son. I'll be the grandson of the boss guy. Paul's grandson. Oh, Mike. I'll be Mike's son. <sighs> oh, and if we need to fill it in anywhere. Ryan. I'll be Ryan's son. Don't worry about names. I'm never good with them. If we need to fill in anything, you know, and we need the actors back, we'll just use wigs. It'll be good. I'll be the janitor! We never saw the janitor! I bet you you had so many ideas with the janitor! I'll be the janitor! Let's do it and we'll fill in the scenes! And let's complete the story. Get rid of Rebecca! Get rid of- well don't get rid of her. But it's too simple of an ending. You know it, I know it. God, if Tim replies- does he have a- does he have a- what's his name? Tim? Tim Fallen. Twitter. What's he doing? Former games composer turned jack of all trades. We'll see about that. He hasn't tweeted in six years. I mean, they just did a game. Baggy. It's happening. Give me a couple years, guys. Contradiction, part two. Yes! <sighs> Tim. Tim's about to get the email of a lifetime. <laughs> I'm serious, by the way. I'm gonna- I'm gonna email him. See if he's at all thinking about it. I think that would be so cool, man. That article was the saddest thing I've ever read. The fact that it wrote that he was saying these things with a sigh. Six years. Long-awaited contradiction sequel. I suspect he has other thing ideas after, um... <clears throat> at dead of night, but you know. Tim deserves his full vision to be seen, yeah. It could have been. We'll call it Contradiction Remastered. No, we won't. Nobody's gonna buy that. We'll call it Contradiction, the sequel you always wanted. <laughs> Tio's cut. Hey, what did you guys think of the game?